Hey there and welcome to another video blog post. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to talk about um, the way that I start engagement sessions and uh, this could end up being an hour long talk but I'm going to keep it to a few minutes for the sake of um, internet space. Um, but the way you start an engagement session really matters. It matters more than any other initial interaction with a client in my opinion because the engagement session is when your client is deciding if they made the right decision. Um, they're deciding if they trust you, if they love you, if they feel comfortable with you. And so if you just rush into shooting or you don't set them up for success, then that's going to blow up in your face, not just um, be a bad experience for them. And so um, pay attention to these like five different tips that I talk about because I really think that this is what helps us have successful engagement shoots where clients leave feeling really confident, um, not only that their pictures are great, but also in you as their photographer. So the first thing is you want to make sure you reassure them. And what I mean by that is people are coming to a shoot nervous, even if they've done this before, um, which most couples haven't done this before, but um, even if they have, like they're always going to be a little bit nervous. And a lot of our couples, when I first meet them, we try to get there so we have a few minutes to talk and chat and get to know them and just kind of, you know, lower the expectations. And I tell them, like, there's no way you can mess this up. I have no expectations for you guys, and I'm going to teach you everything. So when I explain that to them initially, um, what I'm doing is I'm reassuring them that one, I know you're nervous. Two, it's okay to be nervous. And three, I normally say something like, if you guys have never professionally modeled before, that's actually the best situation for me. Because if you've never professionally modeled, that means that I get to teach you from scratch and you're gonna do exactly what I want you to do. It's gonna be great. So if you are nervous, that's normal, but no worries, I have no expectation. And if you've never done it, that's great. That means that I'm working with a blank canvas and that's my ideal situation. Normally when I say that, everyone's like, oh, phew, okay, good. Um, and so I always start with that. So I start with, you don't have to know what you're doing. I'm going to tell you everything. And I just want to reassure you that if you aren't a professional model, it's okay. And the second thing I explain is that I'm going to teach them the four core poses. And so if you've never heard about our four core poses, basically the idea of it is um, there's only four foundational poses that I use, and then I do variations of those four poses, and that's how I don't get stuck. That's how I don't forget poses. That's how I have variety in my poses. Um, and that the four core poses lead into the uh, posing evolution. So if you need more information about that, we have a mini guide in our store about it. Um, it's really helpful and you can save it on your phone so you always have access to it. Um, but I explained to them, second thing, I'm going to teach you the four core poses when we get started. So from the very beginning, you're going to know what to do and you're going to know everything you need to for the rest of the shoot. Okay, so the third thing that you need to make sure that you say or at least mention when you're starting an engagement session uh, is that you want to make sure that you're aware of any of their insecurities. And now you can't just go up to a new couple that you just met five minutes in and say, tell me what you're insecure about because that's not going to go over very well. But you can word it like this. Um, normally this is what I say. I say, um, so is there anything I should be made aware of? Maybe, you know, you like your swoop side better than your non-swoop side. Or is there anything I should be careful to pay attention to? And when I ask that, my hope is that they're going to say things like, oh, I just don't like my profile. Or I don't like my nose. Or, oh, don't make my arms look fat. So let's use that as an example. If I talk about this with my couple before we ever start shooting, and then later on in the shoot, maybe he's holding on to her and her arm is squished, and I tell her, okay, like loosen your arm up a little bit like that, then I'm the hero because I'm taking care of her and I'm on her side. Whereas if I don't ever talk about it, then later on the shoot and I notice her arm looks bigger than it should, and I adjust it until I pull her arm out, and we've never talked about the fact that she's insecure about that then she's going to be so self-conscious because I did, I'm not the hero anymore. I just pointed out a flaw. And so there are so many just different examples of this when you're shooting. Um, it could be a weight issue. It could be a balding issue. It could be they don't like their nose. And so when you do nose to nose, you want the bride's nose to be in front of his. You need to ask these things, though, because if you don't talk about it, then it's really awkward and your couple shuts down when you point it out later on in the shoot. So that's really one of the biggest points you always want to make sure you talk about when you're starting a shoot. The fourth thing is, and I love this one because it really sets up the expectation really well for your couple. Um, the first 20 minutes 
are going to be awkward. I don't care how great of a photographer you are or how personable you are. I tend to think that I'm pretty personable, but I still know that the first 20 minutes of shooting, my couple is going to feel a little awkward. Why? Because this is not normal life. They don't normally go to the movies and nuzzle outside in the bushes beforehand. Like, that doesn't happen. So I explain that to them, and I, I normally joke about it, and I say things like what I just said. You're not going to normally do these on a normal basis, and you may go home and practice your poses after this, which would be awesome, but nuzzling and nose to nose and holding on to each other like I want to teach you, that's just not normal part of life. And so um, you have to recognize that the first 20 minutes you're getting used to it and you should feel a little weird. Um, you're basically validating everything that they're feeling already. So when you tell them, hey, every normal couple feels awkward for the first 20 minutes, then they feel okay with being a little stiff at first. And they feel okay because Caitlin told them you're going to feel this way. So that's really important. And normally throughout the shoot, like say we're 20 minutes in, I've taught them the four core poses. We're getting in a rhythm. I'll normally stop and say, guys, think about it. Isn't this so much better than when we started to go, when we started 20 or 30 minutes ago? Isn't that so much better? So, um, and they normally agree that like, yeah, we're getting really good. So the last thing is really, I love this because, um, it's really true. My couples, the core poses are pretty simple. Okay, and so, um, but, but they're not always easy. But I tell people, you know what, if you really get the hang of the four core poses, you may move into advanced posing. And it's true, sometimes my couples, within the first 20 to 30 minutes, they're already doing poses that are normally pretty hard to teach. And so, if you set that expectation up at the beginning and tell them, like, we may move into advanced posing, then they have something to work towards, and when you get to that place, it's exciting for everybody. Okay, so set them up and manage their expectations in a way that makes them realize they're doing a great job. Um, you also want to make sure you're praising them the entire time. You can never be too vocal in an engagement session. At least that's my um, opinion. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope that your next engagement session, you set yourself up really well at the very beginning so that your clients feel confident, they know what to expect, and their expectations are set at a really realistic place. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.